Hello and welcome to Trice Park. This is Bardwaj, and what you see here is Hyundai's second electric car to the Indian market. That's the Ionic 5. We are here in Goa to test drive this car, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about how this car drives and what is it like on the inside. Let's get started. So Hyundai has launched the Ionic 5 at an introductory pricing of 44.95 lakh. Now what's interesting is Hyundai have already announced that this car, uh, they have got over 600 bookings and the introductory price has ended. Now the surprising part is they have just increased it by one more lakh. Now it's priced at 45.95 lakh, which is way more lesser than its uh, Kia counterpart, that's the EV6. Now, as you've already known about this car, it's only available in a single trim option for the rear wheel drive configuration. And I'll come to that in detail when I'm driving this car. I will tell you all about the specs and everything. But let's just start with the design. So what you see here is a design inspired by Hyundai's first uh, car, passenger car, that's called the Pony. And that's why you have that 90s or even 80s retro look uh, with squarish designs all over this car. Especially from the front, if you see, you get this huge uh, panel right here. You know, as it with all the EVs, it has got a closed section at the front. And to top it off, these lights, what you see here, the squarish lights, uh, these lights add a lot of character and a retro look to this car. There's a large Hyundai logo and a clamshell bonnet adding up to the 90s looks. And also what you see right here, this is an active flap whenever there is cooling needed because of the HVAC unit that's present right here, it will open up that flap and when it's not needed, it will close it up for more aerodynamic efficiency. So that's what at the front and finally to top it off, what you see right here, these lines, these also light up along with the headlamps right here. This can be especially seen in uh, evenings or even night, it absolutely looks cool and this center bar right you see, what you see here is actually a charge indicator lots of blocks of led uh, lights up to uh, indicate what is the charge or the percentage of battery left on that uh, section right there so that's about the front now coming to the side profile you can see that this car is actually very very long it, to put in perspective the wheelbase of this car is little more than the audi a6 yes i'm not kidding it's more than the audi a6 and it's around 250 mm more than the innova Crysta. so that's much space is what the Ionic 5 offers. In this hatchback profile or crossoverish profile, you'll not be able to judge that. But let me tell you that it's a very spacious car. Now, at the side profile, you also get to see that 20 inch, very uh, BBS Momo kind of wheels, which looks absolutely good. And it's aerodynamically crafted to offer that uh, design and to add to that overall looks of the car. And also on the side profile, you can see huge character lines on the doors, front doors all the way going up to that uh, rear door section and the rear panel or the uh, downside of the rear door. So it creates a Z kind of pattern and there are some horizontal lines across both the doors to give it more character. And other things that you can spot are the flush setting door handles right there and also the ORVMs uh, now get camera along with the front and the rear for the 360 degree uh, feature. And you can see a dual tone roof as well. This comes with three color options. Uh, the pearl, there is another dark color, which is like gray and there is a white color option as well. So that's about the side profile. As I mentioned earlier, it is a very huge car. I will show how huge is it when I'm uh, on the inside and tell you the interiors of the car. Now it's time to go for the rear section. There's some quirks there as well. So coming to the rear section of the Ionic 5, you can see a steeply raked uh, rear windshield. Now that is the reason why there's no rear wiper offered on this car. You might think that it's a 45 lakh odd car X showroom obviously uh, and it is missing a wiper uh, right here. That's because what Hyundai says is uh, they have designed the windshield in such a way that there will be no water droplets uh, forming on the windshield. However, as Indians, we know that our country is a little bit prone to dust and you can spot the little bit of dust here. We would have loved to see a wiper, but uh, for some reason, Hyundai has not given it. Uh, other elements on the rear, uh, very notable thing is this light bar that you see right here. Now, these lights, what you see, the pixelated ones, these do not light up. Only the section where you have seen the uh, tail lamp is, only these LEDs light up and the extreme uh, cornermost lights also act as a turn signal indicator but you see this red bar going across which is lighting up 
that particular uh, lighting element section and also you get ionic 5 badging right here apart from that there is no other badging because there, it does not have any other variant and the bumper is also gets a dual tone finish and you get to see uh, cameras and also you can get to see uh, rear parking sensors as well and in case if the windshield is uh, you know prone to dust you can definitely switch to the reverse camera which can stay on the infotainment system permanently to help you with better visibility uh, on that note that's the rear section of the ionic 5 it absolutely looks cool overall the car is very good in terms of design it's something very unique that's not out there around the world now uh, let me get onto the booth space so to access the booth space uh, you will have to press on this request sensor right here once you press on it you can also spot the rear camera right there going up with the boot lid and this opens up a boot space of 527 liters with 60 40 split rear seat right here now one downside is uh, as is with all the trend that is going on right here uh, it you do not get a spare wheel even as a space saver uh, but you get a puncher kit in case uh, if you run into that unfortunate situations of tire going flat uh, but the other things that is offered by Hyundai is you get two chargers uh, there is a 3.3 kilowatt charger and there's a, a 11 kilowatt uh, charger as well now this also includes the vehicle to load uh, adapter uh, that is there on this box I will show uh, that uh, later when I'm showing that feature uh, but uh, that is a huge boot for this car as I mentioned earlier it is a very very uh, huge and a large car with uh, larger dimensions and also you get a power tailgate so it helps in ease of loading and if you lift this parcel tray you can spot some more uh, area right here where uh, you can store some more stuff which you don't want to fiddle with the main uh, loading area right here very flat floor very easy to load the luggage now you can press on this button to close down the tailgate and again if you spot it that's uh, the one of the cleanest looking rear sections that I've seen on the car so before we head inside let me show you where the charging door is uh, so what you see here is the charging door of the Ionic 5 and there are some pixel marks here you have to put in a little pressure and the door opens up and reveals the charging port right there now uh, I'll come to the charging uh, times when I'm driving the car uh, but uh, what you see here is a charge indicator now the these blocks light up to uh, indicate that it's 100% charge and to close it you can just press on this button and it will close uh, with that let me also show you one more feature that's called the vehicle to load so what you get is an adapter now with this what you can do is charge electric appliances so up to 3 kilowatt is what it can charge uh, devices uh, requiring 3 kilowatt of power uh, this includes the your refrigerators your coffee makers the toasters whichever which requires heavy duty appliances you can charge it from here there's also one more socket on the inside where you can charge your cell phones i will show that uh, but what you need to do is just plug into this uh, charger and you should wait for a green light to go on once you press that you can just plug into the socket that you see right here and voila that's about it so that's how you power your appliances when you take the ionic 5 out on the wilderness now it's time to get inside the Ionic 5 and tell you what are the features that are there on this particular electric vehicle. It's going to be interesting. Stay tuned for that. So now we are sitting inside the Ionic 5 and I'm starting with the rear seat because as I mentioned earlier, while explaining the side profile of the car. This particular car has a wheelbase of 3000 mm and it is one of the largest wheelbase that we have seen in the industry and particularly in this segment, it is larger than anything out there in the market. It's larger by 100 mm compared to EV6, uh, Kia's EV6 as well. So what that translate is a lot of leg room, a lot of thigh room, a lot of room on the inside for the, uh, in terms of headroom and also in terms of shoulder room. Uh, it's a very wide car, it's a very long car and Hyundai has achieved that with their GMP platform uh, by extending the wheels out at the front. If you see the car, there is no overhangs, that's because everything is, uh, the battery pack what you see right here, everything is in the middle of the wheels and that's why they had, uh, they could get so much wheelbase and they could push out a lot of stuff 
that is on the hood and also you get a very large boot uh, apart from the space and the airiness uh, you get you also get a very large a glass roof now this is a single roof so it cannot be opened it's a static glass roof and it does not move however on such sunny days uh, there are blinds that will uh, close from either side of it uh, which absolutely looks very cool i will show how that happens when i sit in the front and uh, operate the blinds right there but uh, coming back to the rear seat uh, now the seats themselves are very comfortable you get ample under thigh support the armrest is also placed at a decent height and you get ample cushioning uh, but long journey is something that i'll have to try and test it uh, we will definitely uh, see how this goes when we get this car for a full review this is just a first drive um, i'm guessing it'll be comfortable also unlike the front seat the rear get only uh, heated seats it does not have ventilation in a country like india we would have preferred a ventilated or a cooled seat rather than a heated seat uh, you would not use a heated seat feature much uh, having said that the rear seat is power operated for reach uh, however the sliding has to be done manually there are levers present across uh, both sides of the seat you can uh, adjust it as per your preference but if you want to pull it up uh, there is around 137 mm of adjustment now what you see here is the maximum that you can pull the seat and that's the uh, the seat the driver seat is set as per my height and my preference and if you still see i have a little bit of room obviously my knees are touching because i'm at the extreme most position but if i get it to the most rear set position of the seat i have ample knee room uh, right here which is great for this car in this segment so all three passengers sitting right here uh, get adjustable headrests uh, manual uh, but the flat floor allows three people to sit abreast and they won't have any issues even in longer journeys is what i feel however uh, three people sitting here will have to compromise on the usb sockets that you get because there are only two usb sockets right here interesting fact about this car is there are around five usb sockets all are type a in 2023 um that's interesting choice by hyundai and what you see here is a cup holder right there or a bottle holder and you get seat back pockets as well all the materials that you see right here are made of sustainable materials i will talk about that in a bit but the center console that you see right here can be moved 140 mm that i will show you when i am uh, on the front seat finally to top it off in the rear section you do get climate control vents are uh, placed on the pillar because you cannot place it up top or you cannot place it on the moving center console so they have managed to place it on the column right here now in terms of air flow there's not much um, probably i'm guessing it'll uh, take a little bit time because this is a very huge cabin it'll take some time to cool off speaking of the materials itself it absolutely feels very good and uh, also you get rear blinds right here which you can deploy it has to be manually deployed and finally there is something called as boss mode so if you're sitting on this seat and you want that seat to be moved forward there are a couple of buttons right here which you can uh, use it and extend your space on the second row especially if you are sitting on that seat and uh, there is something called as a luxury seat where you just uh, recline completely and for that as well you can use this buttons to move the second row if i can show it that is how you can move the second row using the buttons that are present on the co driver seat so those are all the features that are present right here on the rear seat now it's time to sit on the front seat and show you what are the other features that you can see on the ionic 5 So coming to the front uh, let me start with the key of the Ionic 5 so what you see here is the key now this has couple of options you can uh, uh, start it remotely you also have a button to open the charge door and also the boot and your regular lock and unlock buttons very premium feeling key right here let me place this aside and just uh, you know ponder on the design that is there it's very simplistic not many uh, curves or styles going on as per how it is there on the exterior there's no striking lines going across the dashboard it's very seamless it looks unified uh, along with these uh, two uh, 12 uh, in screens right here uh, absolutely looks wonderful and you also have uh, white bezels because uh, unlike the black bezels that you are so used to seeing uh, the overlay of the infotainment screen and the instrument cluster on the Ionic 5 is white 
so it sort of looks very seamless. There is a pad right here, which is a magnetic pad. In case if you are running a pop socket kind of case on your phone, you can definitely place it and it will uh, hang on to it. Or if you want to make it a little funny, you can place your fridge magnets here as well to uplift the cabin a little bit. Speaking of uplifting the cabin, as I mentioned earlier, it is all made of sustainable materials. You can spot your uh, can that you've just crushed after drinking a soda or even a uh, corn that you've had would have been recycled and made it to this car. That's how sustainable this interior is. Uh, and it's very eco-friendly. What uh, Hyundai has done with this car is not only uh, you know control the carbon emissions that are produced by this car, but also uh, use all the waste products and make sure that this uh, interior also contributes to the betterment of the environment. Now with that, let me come back to the interiors as well. So uh, you get to see uh, four AC vents right here placed seamlessly across the dashboard. It absolutely looks very cool and very well integrated. Below that are a couple of buttons, uh, what you see. So these buttons uh, are hard set buttons for your media controls and also there are some touch capacitive buttons for your climate control. However, to access the seat ventilation that you have on the both the front seats it has cooled and also it has heated so for that you will have to reach out to the infotainment system and then control it there is no option or the button that you can uh, control it uh, here on the climate control that could have been a little better uh, with that uh, what you see here is a center console along with the armrest now you can lift this up as well if you don't want it but if you want it as i mentioned earlier this can be taken back or even moved forward as well which really helps in placing all your knickknacks in the car and the center console also has two usb ports and a wireless charger placed right here also the interior is a combination of gray and uh, the white theme right here what you see uh, absolutely looks beautiful and uh, uh, you know it creates a very airy feel now with that uh, as I mentioned earlier, while sitting on the rear seat, this particular blind can close. So let me show you how that's done. So if you hold it and press on it, so you can see the either side of the blind is getting closed and it meets in the middle. Certainly looks very cool, but let me just open it because there's a lot more light needed. Okay, so on that note, coming back to the steering wheel, it gets a twin spoke steering wheel. There's not much going on over here. It looks very simple as is with the entire cabin. You get touch capacitive buttons right here uh, to control different uh, features, be it the telephone or uh, your music. On the right side, you get to uh, control all your ADAS features right here. However, if you see, there is no gear selector present right here. That's because it gets a very old school column style shifter for the drive right here and also there is a dial to shift between three drive modes that this car offers and the stocks themselves looks very premium feels very premium along with the spiral shifters as well so that's the steering setup right there now coming back to the infotainment system one of the very good infotainment system very easy to use very fluid is what i can tell but there is a major flaw in this uh, because it does not get wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It's wired and that can be accessed only by connecting your phone, either your Android or Apple phone uh, through that USB port right there present next to the 12 volt socket. We would have wished for a wireless unit. Uh, however, we'll have to see what Hyundai has to say about that. Uh, but for now, if you want to access Android Auto Apple CarPlay, it's going to be wired only on this car. Apart from that, Coming back to the instrument cluster, you get a ton of uh, information. The uh, cluster is neatly laid out. You get EV specific information uh, all in front of you and also uh, ADAS related information as well. Uh, it is in a very clean, nice looking manner and also it changes uh, colors uh, with respect to the drive mode that you are in. Choosing sport mode will have a very red overlay which will help in uh, giving an aggressive look for this uh, particular uh, instrument cluster as i can say yeah so uh, it is easily readable and it is uh, customizable to a certain bit the indian spec model does not get a head-up display so there's a miss right there so uh, that is about it and if you're wondering uh, that there is no hyundai logo on the steering wheel like all their cars uh, hyundai has done a quirk right here what you see are four dots now these four dots is nothing but morse code for the letter h so what you see here is actually the h written in morse code with the pixel format 
right here on the steering wheel so if anyone asks what car you're driving you can certainly tell them to look up on the most code book right there so that is about the interiors uh let us know what you think about the interiors now it's time to take this car out for a spin and tell you how this car drives i shall see you on that section So now we are in the driving seat of the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and it is one of the very pleasant places to be in. Uh, you are surrounded by all the uh, airiness of the cabin with the white upholstery and the glass roof. Uh, this especially comes into play during night time uh, when uh, you know take take this car out for a spin and you are uh, immersed in that ambient lighting and also for a light up from the sky. So it absolutely feels really serene and uh, pleasurable. Uh, now on that note, let me talk about the performance of this car as to how does it, the Ionic 5 drives. Let me get the specs out of the way. So uh, it gets a 72 kilowatt hour battery and the motor is produces 217 PS and 350 Nm of torque. Uh, it might not sound much on paper, but since this is an electric vehicle, you get all that power instantaneously and it can really propel you to good amount of speeds or triple digit speeds within a couple of seconds. So on that note, zero to 100 is uh, dealt within uh, eight seconds is what uh, Hyundai claims and we can certainly uh, you know agree with them when we are driving this car uh, in either mode even in eco mode this accelerate the roll-on acceleration of this car is instant and uh, actually I can say insane I can use the word insane because I have never seen a car accelerate so hard even in eco mode it, there will always be a delay and the power will be you know pushed out linearly but on the rolling acceleration for this car uh, in any mode for that matter it's eco normal or sport uh, it is very instantaneous and uh, especially in sport you get that kickback acceleration uh, that uh, you would have experienced in other EVs however interestingly if you are on a standstill and you push the pedal to the metal it'll take some time uh, for it to uh, gain speed and momentum and then it will linearly provide you that speed uh, and take you to that triple digit speeds so roll on acceleration is very good uh, but the standstill acceleration uh, is very much unlike an EV uh, could have used a little more kickback at least in the sport mode uh, is what I can tell now another aspect where you have to be really careful about this car is uh, especially on the narrow streets uh, we are currently testing this car in uh, Goan streets and uh, if you have been to Goa you will know that the streets are uh, bit narrow and this car is actually really wide and really long so if you read the dimensions you'll know that this is actually a larger car than the innova krista and it has a lot of space because of that um, as i mentioned earlier in the review but uh, taking on uh, narrow streets you will really have to be careful in dealing with the traffic around you now as is the uh, case with most evs uh, the battery pack is placed in between the wheels and very low down so the majority of the weight coming from the car which is the battery uh, is placed uh, closer to the ground so your center of gravity is very low and uh, in that matter it will help in cornering now i was not able to do much cornering in this but uh, riding on the cobbled or not so smooth uh, streets of goa i can tell you that it has uh, won me over in terms of ride quality it's very plush it's very refined and uh, i would really really uh, uh, like to put some miles on it on that note uh, if you are uh, you know thinking about what would be the expected range on this obviously we couldn't uh, test out the uh, real world range as this is the first ride but we can certainly uh, you know from our experience of this car we can certainly tell that it will be over 500 to 550 kilometers on a single charge now the charge time for the battery uh, is rated at uh, 57 minutes uh, via a 50 kilowatt uh, DC fast charger that is from 10 to 80 percent if in case uh, India gets a 350 kilowatt DC charger. This car goes from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes is what Hyundai claims. However, if you do not want to fast charge, you get two optional chargers 
uh, with the Hyundai Ioniq 5 that's the 3.3 kilowatt and the 11 kilowatt uh, AC charger now uh, we are unsure of what the 3.3 kilowatt uh, time is for 0 to 100 battery charge I'm guessing it's somewhere around 20 hours uh, typically it would take for that 72 kilowatt hour battery but charging it with the 11 kilowatt uh, charger uh, it takes around 7 hours to fully juice up the battery also to help you navigate this large car in narrow streets or even in high speed traffic you get level 2 adas and 360 degree camera which will really come on its own uh, uh, the camera quality is really good and since there is no rear wiper wash you can actually uh, you know uh, make a workaround by using the rear camera um, and uh, permanently placing that on the infotainment system which will help you with better visibility as well also a couple of other uh, factors that will uh, come into play when you're driving the ionic 5 is the region so it gets three level region the third level or the highest level is a single foot pedal driving so if you take your foot off the accelerator the car will come to a halt gradually until it reaches zero kilometer per hour so it will come to a halt it will not crawl at lower speeds um, so it will definitely make your driving a breeze uh, at least in bumper to bumper traffic uh, kudos to Hyundai for that and speaking of bumper to bumper traffic or narrow roads uh, the steering wheel is a little bit on the stiffer side uh, I would say even on low speeds it's unlike any other Hyundai cars that you have driven in India at slow speeds as well the steering wheel uh, is a little bit on the heavier side um, and the high speeds definitely you would need the steering wheel to be a little more stiffer and uh, that is provided but uh, at low speeds I would have loved uh, the steering wheel to be a little more uh, light weighted uh, to navigate around the streets very easily so this was our impressions of the Hyundai Ionic 5 uh, again it was a very quick short drive uh, in the Govan roads uh, we weren't able to uh, test the range or you know other aspects of the car uh, much but hopefully we will be getting this car for a full review and we shall report back with some real world numbers of the Hyundai Ionic 5 So that was our take on the all new Hyundai Ionic 5. So this is the second uh, offering from Hyundai uh, in terms of EV space in the Indian market and what an offering it is. Uh, for 45 or 46 lakh now, uh, you're getting around 600 kilometers of practical range, a very practical cabin and a spacious cabin plus a lot of luxurious and nice to have features on this car. Uh, according to me, uh, for this price bracket, what Hyundai uh, has done is packaged it very well. Now that is my impression and I would like to know what are your thoughts about the Hyundai Ionic 5 after watching our review. Please do let us know in the comments below. Also like and share this video and do subscribe to Drive Spark if you haven't done it already. This is Bardwaj and that is the Hyundai Ionic 5 signing off. See you in the next one.